Hi there, Aaron Dunn here from the SMSF Academy. In this video, we're going to be explaining the new document we've added around a non-lapsing binding death benefit nomination becoming a paramount document. The concept of a paramount document is unique to the SMSF trust deed provided in the SMSF Academy and provides certainty where you want to make a decision that this non-lapsing binding death benefit nomination is to take precedence over certain other documents or agreements. For example, where there may be a reversionary income stream in place, but you would rather have the terms and conditions of the non uh, of the non-lapsing binding death benefit nomination take precedent, in particular where there was specific conflict. So what we're going to do here is go through this process of completing the specific order form. So you can see here we pick up our fund information. We are then picking up the specific member or trustee information in here. So we have our say individual trustees or corporate trustee. We then will put in the specific information in respect to the actual member. Uh, we will look at adding the integration here as well for both Class Super and Simple Fund 360, which will allow you to populate this document uh, very easily. Choose the member who has prepared that non-lapsing binding death benefit nomination, their address, and then simply now we just need to review that information. And once that information has been reviewed, you will simply be able to populate uh, or submit this to the um, prepared by our campus platform. So this is available for our gold and silver members. Uh, if it's our bronze members, you would simply need to pay, which we have a PAYG price of just $99. Most importantly, when we do submit this information, what we need to ensure is that we're using this document in accordance with the SMSF Academy's trust deed. Because like I said, this is a concept that is unique to the system. So I'm just going to hit submit now, uh, pause the video, and once this is generated, show you the completed document. Okay, so we can see now that the document has been generated. So we have the ability to simply download that document. We can see the order um, comes through to us by email as well. So again, we get that confirmation there. So if we go across to the document, we can see here now there's the request to add the non-lapsing binding death benefit nomination as a paramount document. So that member application to the trustee. We then have our trustee meeting that provides the uh, confirmation that that can occur in accordance with the deed that provides for the specific provisions of that paramount document and also for it to be accepted as a document that is made as a special rule of the fund in accordance with rule 1.8. So ultimately our resolutions will accept that member's request and declare the non-lapsing binding death benefit nomination to be a special rule and a paramount document and we would naturally reflect and update this information in respect to the books and records of the fund. And we finally include information around the notification from the trustee back to the member confirming that we have a paramount document as what was initially requested by the member. So if you do have any other questions in respect to the preparation of this document or our deed in respect to the concept of a paramount document, please reach out to us and we would be more than happy to have the discussion with you. Thank you.